Okay, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we completed our first paralogue, Dedu's one. And this time, I doubt I've got a lot of motivated people, we'll see. Yep, barely anyone. In fact, not even enough to use all of my teaching. So I guess Sylvain was MVP last time, so I could probably teach him here. Um... <laughs> I didn't know students could do this! Ingrid has just suggested to update her current goal to be the exact same as her current goal. Okay then. <laughs> At least that adds it to your custom focuses. Ingrid, okay. Ugh, will father never learn? All of these useless letters are only creating more rubbish in the world. Uh, guess you don't like your father then. Professor? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. My apologies. Oh, uh, that paper. Well, I... Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> we are very big on recycling paper here at that monastery. You are now expelled. It was a letter from my father. I understand where you're coming from here, but I have no need of such things. It isn't like anything of importance was written on it. Considering uh, what you said to Ash earlier, I'm guessing your family are jerks. Curious? I suppose there's no harm in allowing you to read it. Go on then. <laughs> we'll just, well, there's no tape in this universe, so we'll just hold it back together. My dearest daughter, Ingrid, are you well? trust that you are behaving yourself and refraining from causing trouble for others. So the fact they've gone to the trouble to give this guy voice acting implies that maybe we have to meet slash fight him later? Things on the home front are in order. The marriage proposal for you and the Viscount's son should be prepared soon. Oh. Although, I am quite certain there are many superior candidates at Garrig Mock Monastery. Yes, yes there are, Ash. <clears throat> As you know, the very survival of our family is dependent upon whom you marry. You are the only one left in the family who can make things right. We are all counting on you. Do not lose sight of what truly matters. Well, yeah, her support with Ash just makes a lot more sense now. Yes. Perhaps you found it somewhat entertaining. Yes, Byleth is now crossing out every mention of that Viscount and replacing it with Ash and hoping that that changes, uh, that, that changes things. I've told you that we've never been very well off financially. My noble family, House Galatea, branched off from House Daphnel in the Alliance. Yeah, I think I read that in her profile. Shortly after, we were lucky enough to receive the support of the royal family, allowing us to attain nobility to some extent. But... The territory we watch over is poor. It's harvest meager. And our noble blood, too, has grown thin. Neither my father nor my brothers bear a crest. I, however, do bear a crest. Because of this, my father sees me as our family's one hope for the future. So, is this going to be like Fire Emblem 4 and he's going to set you up with an incest pairing? A crest is highly prized among nobles. Were I to marry into a greater noble family, that financial support could soothe our woes. Well, I mean, Lord Leonardo's family are technically nobles. Thank you, Professor. Your sentiment alone is a great comfort to me. Despite my own feelings, I understand his approach to all this. It isn't that he doesn't care for me. I understand it very, very well. Which is why I... I apologize, Professor. I must be going. Oh, okay. The student can approach on their own. That, th I did not expect that at all. Yeah, sure. Professor, I saw you looking at me. I know what that look means. <laughs> you want to give me flowers again, don't you? You want to add me to your class. 
just kidding. But if you did invite me to join, I'd consider it. No. After all that effort I spent on you, no, you're not worth it. No, let's do it. Oh, you really have taken a shine to me. And suddenly recruitment theme. I hope I can live up to your expectations. I look forward to learning from you. Well, you kind of missed uh, Sunday's lesson, so you won't learn from me for another week. First Crosshouse Recruitment, finally! I wonder what level she joins at, actually. Pretty good job, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yes, I am making these two constantly do group tasks. Yes, I am shamelessly shipping them. What of it? Am I starting to master this? I guess so. Yeah, I want to get his... It's also because I want to get his writing up to make him a bow knight later. B and bow is nice. Okay, you got a faith up. Am I making progress? Oh, okay, Hilda was part of that. Interesting. Nosferatu, faith level two. Why is she focusing on lances? Okay, I, I guess we'll see when she joins. And yeah, Cyril's still focusing on flying. So I don't need to go out into the monastery to try and recruit Hilda today. So that leaves me free for something. Also something that I just noticed, so this is the ninth month or the equivalent of September. And someone in this game, that means that someone in this game shares a birthday with me in real life. Huh, Dorothea has shares my birthday. Interesting. I know a lot of people would really like that, but anyway. Also, yeah, that's, um, that's, uh, Shell, how you pronounce that, um, Sully's daughter's birthday in Fire Emblem Awakening. Also, the date that BS Fire Emblem was released. Okay, let me just quickly look at the roster. So, uh, she is a brigand. Good speed, great strength, decent, wow, decent defense too, and good charisma. Uh, your accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired, though. And you also have this, which is actually kind of solid. Spike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm now just picturing that summoning the character from My Little Pony. But anyway, uh, you also come with a bullion that I can sell. Was that like a house joining gift or something like that? Okay, you've got a C in lances, a C in axes, nothing in anything else. Oh boy. Huh. I have heard that it's better not to spread yourself too thin with like your goals, but... I would kind of like to work on your heavy armor talent. You're not bad at riding either, so maybe you can make a decent great knight in the future. And, uh, okay, you have gone through noble, br uh, fighter, and brigand, and in are currently in brigand, but I'm guessing you did not master any skills from those classes. Close allies, Byleth, Mercedes, Sylvain. Well, you haven't supported with anyone else, so yeah. Yeah, it is kind of funny, like, again, Hilda's personality, I'm not really sure, like, she does seem like a bit of a coward, and I don't like how she doesn't really want to sacrifice herself for others, and she does get others to do stuff for her, but I'll see, hopefully she has some depths, I, I guess I'm just kind of, just sort of testing the waters right now, as in terms of which characters I like, for example, I'm really liking Ash so far, um, Dedu's decent, I like Dimitri a lot, uh, actually I really like most people, like, Sylvain is deeper than I expected, Annette's great, Ingrid is, to be honest, Ingrid's a fairly generic character in my opinion, but that doesn't mean she's bad, really. And Cyril, Cyril has potential. I'm mostly looking forward to how he looks after the time skip, because I'm guessing that he's going to look pretty cool. I'm just kind of a fan of the kid hero becomes super badass looking after a time skip trope. So what supports do we have here? Dimitri and Annette. I'm getting a lot of C's. I guess we are starting to get some B's, though. Oh, Mercedes and Cyril. And Ingrid and Annette. No more, um... Yeah, so in terms of... Oh, you can support quite a few people in our house, but only up to B. And you can go up to an A with Cyril. Hmm. And, of course, you've got a lot of good supports with the Golden Deer. And Seteth. Interesting. Oh, uh, considering how overworked Cyril is, I dread to think how their supports are going to go. She could very easily abuse that. So maybe I should consider recruiting Casper or Ferdinand, then. Is 
So yeah, I should definitely start planning my next recruit. And I probably want to go for someone from the Black Eagles to average things out. Oh, you're only level 11 too. I need to get you leveled up quite a bit. Uh, while I'm here, I may as well see the supports that I have access to. Good morning, your highness. Getting in some early training, huh? Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. A morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father. He worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. Or he's right here watching over her right now. I'll admit it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. Sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. And that would make things a little awkward if you ship them, maybe? I don't know. You're big brother? I mean, I say that and, well, I mean, I suppose at the point that I'm uploading this, I'll definitely be at the point in Trails in the Sky where the Estelle Joshua thing definitely starts becoming romantic, so yeah. It's funny, I'm actually recording my commentary to this long before I got to that point in Trails in the Sky, but I know I will be at that point, so yeah, I'm, this is me going into the future with my commentary, basically. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child and- <laughs> Of course, embarrassing stories. You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. <laughs> nice voice acting there. How about you forget we had this talk all together? <laughs> And don't mention it to anyone. I wonder if it's related to the time that he gave a dagger to some girl. And end support. Uh, Annette and Ingrid, okay. Hello, Ingrid. Can I have just a teeny tiny moment of your time? Sure. I can spare a moment or two. I was wondering, do you have any interest in fashion and makeup and stuff like that? I haven't the time to bother with such frivolities. As long as basic hygiene is being met, then I'm happy. Well, that's kind of me, too. Oh, but you're missing out on something so fun. I mean, it's not like you need it, of course. You've got beautiful bone structure, lovely hair, long legs, but aren't you interested in trying something new? Well, wait a minute, how can you tell her bone structure just by looking at her? I'm a little creeped out by that. Um, well, thank you. I suppose I do find it all somewhat intriguing. But my time is precious to me, and my focus is on knighthood. Taking time to paint my face simply isn't a top priority. Sure, but imagine if you could combine the two and become the most fabulous knight ever. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm taking it too far. I know knights don't necessarily need a ton of makeup or things like that for the job. I have very hilarious images in my head right now. I'm just saying, I really think you'd enjoy it if you opened your mind to it. All I'm talking about is a light touch. I can see it now. Your gorgeous face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Well, considering charisma buffs your battalion damage in this game, maybe there's some merit in that. Um, well, maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay. We don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Her face is gonna turn purple, isn't it? Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kit as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh, 
Well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay. All right. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, and I'm happy to help you learn to apply it too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. I can't see that one without thinking of Metal Gear Solid. They played us like a damn fiddle! The main thing that I took away from that is I can imagine them pranking Dimitri by going to his room while he's sleeping and putting makeup on him and then having him go into a battle lo looking like that. That would honestly be pretty hilarious. <sighs> What's this? Oh, I was I was really worried for a second that Mercedes was gonna like actually um like go hey and he's gonna go ah Well if it isn't Cyril how did he manage to fall asleep here? The warmth must have put him right down. He looks so cute when he's napping. I'll just keep reading. No need to disturb him. Good morning, Cyril. Did you sleep well? What? Where? Mer m m uh. It's Mercedes. I hope you'll commit my name to memory. Yeah, I know I've probably been pronouncing it wrong, but I don't know. It's just kind of easier for me to say it the wrong way. Oh, sorry. I know it, but it's hard to say. You're from Almira, aren't you? I hope you haven't been uncomfortable here at the Academy. Ah, it's great. I eat every day. Were you not eating before you came here? Every couple days, maybe. It was rough. Well, that's not good. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you hungry? Um... You should eat up, to make up for all the meals you missed in the past. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Mer... Mammal... Mar... <laughs> Mammal, yes, yes, you will now be called Mammal for the rest of the game. Just call me Mercy. That's what my friends call me. Mercy... Mercy? Hey! Thanks, Mercy. Well, I had a good sleep, but there's work to do now. See ya. It doesn't seem like he has very many friends here. It's troubling, but I probably shouldn't pry. Okay, doesn't seem like he has many friends here, huh? Well, uh... He's got a lot of potential support partners. Though, yeah, admittedly not as many as other people. Ash, though, that could be interesting. Okay, so the Search for Flame mission is on the 30th. But, here's the thing, I'm kind of worried about something, and because of that, I'm going to explore today, but I'm also going to be going to Yuritsa's room. Ah, uh, Sothis, are you going to load in Sothis? There you are. Oh my, we cannot now ask him. Okay, you're still saying the same thing. Okay, it's still glowing, right, so I still have the ability to do that. I'm actually gonna head there this part because I have this worry that maybe if you wait too long, Flayne might actually die and you won't get the chance to recruit her. Because I'm very suspicious they're actually giving you the reason to straight up go to the end of the month and do the mission uh, from the Academy. Does Hilda have anything new to say now that she's Blue Lions? I bet Flayne ran away. She could. I can empathize. Yeah, I think it's the exact same. Her talking to Claude now is a little awkward. So now that Hilda's been recruited, I wonder if I could grab someone else a mission assistance. Maybe from the Black Eagles? Although I might also want to grab someone from the Golden Deer because they'd have good support with Hilda. Agreed. So yes, I'm going to be bringing along the fusion of Lynn and Reinhardt. Just to see how this goes. Serving Alliance Cuisine. Founding of the Alliance Celebration. Effects are enhanced for Alliance students. Well, obviously, Hilda's the only option that I have here. There's Raphael, too. Raphael might not be a bad option to recruit as well, but I could also use this to get some people motivated, and I am severely lacking in motivated people, as you can see here. Uh, so how about her and Cyril? 
I think Helder can actually support him too. Yummy! Who made this? This is so good. Can I have seconds? Again, no, because you only get to do the um the month the week's specialty dish once. So here's the thing about Gilbert. I doubt I'll ever use him if I do recruit him, but I kind of want to recruit him just to get his support for the net, because I'm curious whether he actually is her father or not. Allies gain max HP plus three for the rest of the month. Oh, there are stat buff foods, okay. Immortality stew. <laughs> That's great. Actually, maybe this is better if you eat with someone from your own house. I mean, Hilda doesn't exactly like any of these, but she is my lowest level, so she could use a bit of a boost to get trained. I'm a decent cook, but nothing to write home about. Don't set your expectations too high. Well, as long as the kitchen doesn't explode, we'll be fine. Cooking can be kind of fun sometimes, though not something I'd want to do every day. Oh, definitely. The pen just caught fire <laughs> spontaneously. That was weird. Okay. I'm tempted just to make Felix sing. Singing is so much fun. Not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing. Plus, singing in public is not edgy at all. The glory of progress. Oh, hey, Bile of Lone Heal. Actually, it's probably better to raise his faith rank through faculty training, though, because that's the only way to get the stars on it for his hidden talent. In fact, that was actually what I was going to do right now, is to do a bit of faculty training. If I can find Rhea. Oh, she's near the tower. That's that's where she is. Of course she'd be there, because that's where the spinning man was. Can I get him to spin again? He's there. He's there. He's walking to the corner. I think I might be able to make him spit again. Come on, get in the corner. Get in the corner. Hello, get in the corner. May the goddess protect. Oh, no, I didn't quite get into spin. She... You're one point off a sea and swords. Okay, that's reason. Yeah, let's train a little bit of faith. This one. You're all set. I might as well get a little bit of sword training in. Practice yields results, Professor. <laughs> that guy just saying Professor out of nowhere was kind of weird. Okay, I think we've done everything else we can here. Except maybe fish a lot, but... Let's head to Yuritsa's room. Yeah, I'm wondering how involved he is in all this. Because he seems recruitable, but I guess we'll find out. And going to the save screen. The Underground Chamber. I think I know what map we're going to be playing here. It was one that was shown in trailers. Isn't that... Oh, Professor Manuela? Professor Manuela, please wake up! Professor Manuela! Well, she's probably not dead. She's still breathing, but she needs medical attention immediately. Well, guess she is gonna wind up a patient in her own infirmary, like she said earlier. Uh, this Violet's just <sighs> shock face was kind of funny, though. Look! Do you see Professor Manuela's hand? It's like she's pointing at something. It's like she's trying to write Leo. I mean, wait, no. I see it, behind that shelf. Could it be a secret passage? Most secret passages aren't that obvious, but I'll take this one. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We must take her to the infirmary immediately. You, don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Of course. I'll return shortly, Professor. Hopefully you return in time for the battle. Do you think this is related to Flame's disappearance? What should we do, Professor? It looks dark, uh, dark in there. 
Oh, you've always been scared of dark places, haven't you, Annie? But don't worry. The Professor and I will protect you. There are sounds coming from within. If we're going to investigate, now is the time. So, according to his profile, I think Ash doesn't like dark and closed spaces, so he's gonna be pretty freaked out about this too. We'll be okay, I'm sure of it. Are you ready, Professor? Not sure if Ash is ready, but I guess we are. What is this place? It's so... Ah! I see someone. I think... They're unconscious. Is that? Yeah, that's Flane. <laughs> is it Yuritsa? <laughs> yes, I see Flane. But who is this other person? Yuritsa is trying a radical new hairstyle and has dyed his hair green. Professor, someone's coming from farther in. That scythe. Is that the knight who attacked the Holy Mausoleum? Well, can we take him down this time like we did last time? Let's see. That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Um, interesting. That sounds a lot like the Black Knight from Radiant Dawn. Also, oh, that, unless it, what if it is, Eureka? That voice sounds suspiciously Patrick sites ish so, as of recording this, the Death Knight has been added as a grand hero battle to, uh, obviously heroes. Apparently, his voice actor is blanked out in both English and Japanese, so thankfully no spoilers if you get him from that. And that's it! Okay. <laughs> I guess we just literally stared death in the face. Yep, it's map time. Okay. Yep, it is exactly that map that we saw at E3. And that means teleport tiles. Also, they're all Flame Emperor soldiers now. They're not disguised as Western Church anymore. Door. Okay. So, there are some doors here. Except some of them are just listed as Mysterious Mage. Cover. Question mark floor. Okay, we have to activate the device before those uh, are, well, active. A lever, as it's actually pronounced in my English, but uh, it's lever in American English, and I know that because of, um... You can act after warping. Okay, so that's... I was gonna say, I know that because of, um... Because of Emperor's New Groove, but anyway. Um, unit can act again after warping means that this operates on, um... On... Uh, sorry, I'm losing my words for a second. This operates on Fire Emblem Fates, uh, warp mechanics. I just noticed a distinct lack of someone in my deployment. Oh, no Dimitri! So he really did miss the battle. Or maybe he'll arrive later, we'll see. Uh, okay. What does Linhart have in terms of spells? Actually, a pretty solid number of spells. Okay, I think actually having Linhart in this might have screwed me over in terms of deployment slots, which is a bit of a problem. I need to kick out someone, and even though these two are over leveled, I feel like their classes are going to be really, really useful here, especially since I don't have Dimitri. So, who gets to go? Ash could also be useful for shooting over walls, is the thing. Technically, Dedu might not be that great, but he's lower level than everyone else, he needs to catch up. I don't want to recruit Linhart for nothing, but he is going to kind of take away from my experience. <sighs> I guess I can have Cyril sit this one out. Uh, he was in the previous um, major chapter. Okay, so one side takes on the warp maze, while the other side progresses forward. And I guess with Linhart, I can have a healer down each path. Don't actually know what the up arrows are next to everyone, but... Anyway... Okay, there are archers over there. Several archers. So I think you'll actually swap with someone. Okay, I think this positioning is good. And I actually did, um, okay, so, inventory, combat arts, oh, of course, he'll need a battalion too. But anyway, I am gonna swap this in. 
yeah, Spike and Smash are pretty similar. Because obviously that's going to be useful against Mr. Death Knight. Speaking of which, who else has Night Kneeler? You have Night Kneeler, you have Night Kneeler. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everyone who has Night Kneeler. You have a two. Steel's more powerful than Night Kneeler. Yeah, I guess I'll take that too. Yep, that, this Death Knight is going to get a whole ton of Night Kneeler spammed on his face. And he's still just as tough as ever, it looks like. What's that sword times two? Master... Master... Yeah, again, he has that... He has, uh... Uh, he has Lysidia's personal skill. Uh, yeah, I think I remember this. You can either rout all the other enemies or defeat the Death Knight. And I think if you rout all the other enemies, you get that legendary line, Holt, it seems like you're having a bit too much fun. Anyway, let's fight. <laughs> 